Hey guys, welcome back. Coming up very soon, we've got Mariko. Yes, Mariko is coming and I've knitted a little something for him. I mean us, because knitting is where it's at with Sabatini. Bro, I think you're late for your story. Oh, if I said the word knitwear, you'd probably think of something your nana would wear, but that's not the case when it comes to Sabatini. This family-built company has operated in New Zealand for over 50 years, and now the label is international, baby. But what are the keys to their success? Stick around to find out. Meet Tony Millett, she's the owner-operator of Sabatini. Tony, can you tell us how Sabatini was started? It was a byproduct of um, an idea that my sister and I had regarding an export label. And Sabatini was created purely for export. So we started um, an idea around knits for night, which were really knitwear designs that you could wear uh, on special occasions like parties, special events, weddings, etc. And now we export to about 15 different countries. So what is it that you think makes Sabatini so special? My sister, Margaret, who's in Sydney, has done an amazing job in marketing Sabatini. And we do go for creative design. The yarns that we buy, the way that we produce all the colours, the team that works behind the design, we combine all these things together and the mix becomes very, very different. It is about creating again and not following, but creating something new. Definitely. What would you say are the keys to success for running any business? That you have to have a drive and ambition to succeed because otherwise, um, you know, how are you going to motivate everybody else around you? Yeah, kind of lead with your heart. Yeah, and make sure that you conquer any weaknesses. Conquer, I like it. <laughs> well, I'd love to have the Sabatini experience. Do you think we could go and take a look at some of your clothes? Oh, sure, sure. Lovely. Let's do it. <laughs> Tony, I am loving the look and feel of your clothes. What do you think makes these clothes different or original to any others? we produce all our own fabrics. We come up with a fabric that no one else has got. Then it's a question of just whatever you're going for in terms of um, the design uh, becomes uniquely yours as well. If you can do that, then you've got a real unique product. You sell these clothes globally. What did it take to launch the label International? Well, it took a lot of work and a lot of money. We spent $150,000 the first year we went to Europe, you know, to see customers, show them what we had. And now we have two big showrooms, one in Milan, one in London, and that's how we've established ourselves in the European scene, at least. So what tips would you give me to run a successful business? The passion to succeed, passion to love the work that you're in. You know, good common sense is a big thing too. You're not on that high horse thing you yeah. know, that people think. Yeah. <laughs> Precious thing yeah. people think. You know, prima donna thing that people right. think. So you're not a prima donna? <laughs> no, no, we're definitely not prima donnas here. <laughs> Well, thank you so much to Tony and the entire Sabatini team for giving us all a lesson we can walk away with. That with hard work and determination, you can do magic. See you back at the house. Yeah, thank you. He's here. Mariko is one of the most influential rappers of our time. He's contributed to shaping an entire generation of hip hop music. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm so sorry. Also, we've got a crazy stalker problem up in here. Man, it's gone mental. Ooh, the coast is clear. Ooh, Rico, always a pleasure to have you here at the Fale Uso, or in this case, the bush. <laughs> Now, you have just been blasted all over our TV screens, our radio stations, all because... Our new album in stores, White yep. Sunday 2, The Book of Mark. So are you trying to tell us that this album is the Bible? Ah, oh, I want to go so music. far as to say that, but uh, definitely has biblical references. Yeah. I mean, is this normal for you, having Psycho Stalker fans follow you around? Nah, definitely not normal for me, but... Uh... Not something I could get used to. What's been the reaction from the public in regards to the second album? And, uh, everyone can see that, you know, growing from a little boy to a young man, yeah. 
and uh, sort of maturing. Hold up, here she comes. Okay. Dad. Miracle! Sammy! Miracle! Your boy gotta live this dream. It's all good. I gotta kill a team on point like a killer team. On tour, y'all seen it. Yo, so sorry about this, but I think we'll be safer in here. Oh, good. good. Now, uh, we all know and love you from groups like Decons, the Horseman family, but you tend to go off and do your own thing. Yeah. Is that common for Mizos? You're still part of the group, you're not. You didn't break enough soul. Is it to make more money? <laughs> <laughs> it's that yes, and a so lot of <laughs> Hurt you lot of me, boy. It's that and a lot of things, but uh, when you branch off, you have your own individual type of stuff. Now, one of the tracks that's out right now from the album is called Gotta Go. Yep. Can you tell us a bit about that? Uh, that's just sort of a testament to like life on the road. It's about touring. On the music video, it actually features, you know, the beautiful mother of yourself. Yeah, that's my uh, actual real mother. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, bringing the whole family in. Hey, you're not my record. Second 5 for the All Blacks, Hurricanes, Dreads. Tell me, my nonu. Yeah, sorry. Oh my gosh, sorry about us, Susu. Can you still play? Oh, good, but it's. Mariko. Thanks so much to you guys for joining us today. Make sure you log into the website to win some free stuff. Thanks to all our guests on the show. Big ups to this guy, his name is Mariko. He's gonna drop his latest Faso yeah. Pua. Later. Pacific Beach Street, top of the morning to you. Yo, listen up close, kids wanna do hip hop. Here's a few pointers to make you the hit song. Rule one, get you a stripped down beat. Get the bass running like Chris Brown's feet. Okay, now make your rhyme simple as you can. Huh? You know, sort of like the gingerbread man. Huh? Trust me, kids, you want them top sellers? Then write rhymes that'll make Dr. Seuss jealous. Follow these rules, all you kids out there, and you too can have yourself the record of the year. Yep. <laughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand on air.